and every day. Some are obvious, others are more subtle. They're bloopers. We talked to three of the stars of Dark Shadows to find out about their memories of goofs on Dark Shadows. Now watch closely because in each and every scene that you see here, there is a mistake, a mistake that made it on the air. Actors on the popular 60s gothic soap opera, Dark Shadows, usually appeared poised and confident on camera. I bet you wonder what I'm doing here, right? <laughs> so, I, I'm glad you're here. But as we found out, things aren't always as they appear to be. Three of the show's female cast members offered us a look into the real world of Dark Shadows. You said I was your friend. Killing you, killing me won't get you away from here. Laura Parker played the beautiful cunning witch, Angelique. The show was done as though it were live. There was no editing. So any mistakes we made went on the air. And that set up a very strong sense of tension, actually fear, in a lot of us. Today, 27 years after Dark Shadow's debut, its humorous faults are recalled more often than its tidy perfections. Tell them that you saw no one here. That's fine. What am I going to tell her? That you saw no one here. Back then, according to cast member Marie Wallace, you either adapted to the frantic pace of live television or else. When I first went on the show, I was not used to the fact that you had to keep going. It didn't matter. You never stopped. The only time you stopped was if Dan Curtis screamed, cut. And one day I'm doing a scene and the set was falling, falling on my head. And so I stopped and uh, didn't go on. They came out and said, why did you stop? And I said, well, because the set was falling down on my head. They said, no, you don't stop. You only stop if you hear cut. Though Marie navigated her way through most scenes with only a few cuts and bruises, Laura Parker has some severely singed memories of her fiery house of cards fiasco. I was starting a fire in the room of the girl I hated, and I wanted her to die or go mad. So the fire was going to begin on the floor of her room, and in order to do that, I had to light this house of cards. And then I had a long incantation to the devil, in which I, at, at, as, the, as the house of cards was burning, I would say, burn. Burn. I command you to come and burn. Burn. So uh, I started the incantation, and I took the candle out of the candle holder, and I lit the house of cards, and it went boom! Okay, we've definitely established that Dark Shadows provided its share of occupational hazards. But as Marie Wallace found, it was also one of the most secure jobs in show business. On this show, whenever you got killed, you said, hmm, I'll probably come back as someone else. I don't know when, but I'll probably be there soon. Although cast members have successfully moved on since the show finished its run in 1971, Dark Shadows refuses to die. There's even a blooper home video to haunt them. But Catherine Lee Scott wouldn't trade the memories for anything. It's funny. I've, I've had so many people come up to me and say, I saw you on Magnum P.I. last night. I'll never forget you as Maggie Evans. Or I saw you on Dynasty. Oh, you were so good as Josette Dupre. In other words, they, even when they see you doing something else on television, their mind skips. And I don't mind it at all. I think mean, it's, it's an honor, really. Now, if you're going to be in the East in August, check out the 10th anniversary celebration of the Dark Shadows Festival. It will be at the New York Marriott Marquis. Jonathan Frid will be there, along with Laura and Catherine, and almost the entire Dark Shadows cast. Call the phone number you see here for more information. This is Mike Jarek wishing you and yours the weirdest of weekends.